and to make this practice your own, to make it your own, okay? So with all of that said, I'm so happy you're here today. And if you're in the middle of my four week wellness reboot, I'm glad you're here because this was part of it. I was optional, but part of it. We're gonna start lying down. Come on your backs. Turn your palms to the sky, bend your knees. Soften your gaze. And just settle. So that was a really good example of there being like a lot of chaos. Like in my world right now, in this house, there's a lot of chaos. And then we have this moment to settle and to decide to be on our mat, to be in our practice. And it's not just relegated to this moment and time where we are in our homes. This is life. This is life. We choose this practice to find these moments of quiet and still. And our first connection to this quiet and still is always the breath, always the breath. Inhaling full, exhaling to match. Keep the breath flowing. And we start to layer on new things like movement and awareness, self-awareness, listening awareness. <laughs> Bring the hands up like a cactus. <laughs> you're gonna bend the knees if they weren't already. And then you're gonna drop your knees to the right. When your knees come to the right, engage the left glute and gently press that hip forward so that you start to get a stretch in the front of that left hip. This is Lulu. She talks a lot. She usually settles down after a few. She doesn't know who I'm talking to, so she thinks it's her. So she thinks she needs to respond. Come back to center, drop the knees to the left, and then push the right hip forward by engaging that right glute. So that you start again to open up the front of that right hip. Try to keep your shoulders as rooted as you can, so not letting that right shoulder lift with the knees coming across. And then come back to center. Hug both of your knees into your chest and just start to rock and roll up and down your spine. If it's okay, if not, maybe just side to side. And then we're gonna rock up, come around onto your hands and your knees, hands and knees. Turn the palms a little bit open so the fingers point a little bit toward the edges of the mat so that the index finger is more straight ahead than inward, just to start here. And then with an inhale, lift the heart, lift the tail, lift the crown of the head. And then exhale, round the back, push the floor away, cat pose. Apropos right now, inhale, heart open. And exhale, round the back. Keep moving like that, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep moving, keep moving. So I really like starting class with this gentle uh, combination, this kriya of poses, this inhale, this exhale, because it allows us to get a sense of wrapping the movement with the breath, and like enveloping the movement, the asana with the breath. 
So that's very much contained and supported by the breathing. You can start to build in little pauses at the peak of the inhale, the peak of the exhale before you change the direction. So then you start to really lengthen out the breath, get the sense of that peak, the rise, the fall. And then come through a neutral spine. Tuck your toes. You can straighten the hands out more if you like, but if your shoulders are at all tight, you might keep a little bit of an opening on the hands for the first few down dogs or maybe for the whole practice. Come into downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana, hips high, heels heavy, hands rooting down. Press into all of the knuckles, all the fingertips. Start to feel the wrists lift away from the floor gently. The outer upper arms, the triceps inward gently, and then the biceps outward gently. Ears between biceps. Inhale, right leg back. Keep the right leg straight, turn the hip open. Lift the leg higher, keep the leg straight, and then maybe start to bend the knee here if it feels good. Lift the left shoulder in line with the right shoulder. Pull the right shoulder in line with the left shoulder. Maybe circle the ankle one way. And then reverse it. And then bring your foot, bring your legs back through center, and then bring your foot all the way up to the top of your mat. Put your back knee down. You can have the toes tucked or you can release the foot down. You're going to use your back foot a lot. Push into the front leg to rise up. So you want to kind of lift up a bit here. Anjane Asana. Keep pushing into that front heel and against that strength, you can start to sink the hips just a bit. Take an inhale here. Exhale, elbows go wide. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, elbows wide. Inhale. Chaturanga, pause, and then release to your belly. Come 
come onto your fingertips, take your hands wide, maybe even off of your mat. Hug your elbows back, and then coming into this kind of raised hand cobra so that the fingertips are supporting you, not the whole palm. Hug the elbows back, pull the heart through, push your feet down. One more inhale. And soften down, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg stretches back. Turn the toes, open the knee, the hip, keep the legs straight, lift a little higher. And then maybe bend the knee here. Circle the ankle if it feels good, level the shoulders. Reverse the circle. Come back through center. And then place your foot between your hands. Back knee down. Anjane Asana, rising up. Push into that front foot to rise up. And then with that strength in the front foot, you can sink down a little deeper. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bend the elbow. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. Exhale, bend. Bring your hands down. Half splits. Just straighten out that front leg. Shift your hips back. Really good. Yes. early part of your practice. Start to cultivate your thoughts. Where's your mind going? Are you here in the pose? Have you moved on? Are you wondering what we're going to do later? Doesn't matter. Stay present. Sensation. Rebend the front leg. Half moon. Push off the back foot. Lift from the front leg. Left hand forward and out to the left side. Opening up here. Really strong lifted leg. your transition. Start to bend the standing leg. Reach the right foot to the back of your mat. And then reverse warrior. How is your breath? Last in hand. Bring it around. Bring the hands down. Back knee comes down if it's okay. Bend the back leg. Find your back foot if it's all right. And then push your foot into your hand and open up. Breath 
full breath out. One more breath here. And release. Moving on the breath. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise. And downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale. Hands into your heart, exhale. We go again, inhale, move with the breath. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Rise, inhale, open up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Rise and half. Hands to heart. Exhale. Really nice. Again. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Offer your heart. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale. Rise and open. Dog pose. Exhale. Right leg back. Inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Keep the knee open. Stretch back, open up. Three-legged dog or wild thing. And then right foot top of your mat. Crescent pose, rise up the center. Take a few breaths here. You can have a bend in your back knee. Lift the pelvis, lift the spine. And then start to restrain that back leg when you lift it up the spine. Inhale a little high. Exhale, bend the elbows. Release the hands down. Slide your back foot a little closer to your front foot. Straighten out both of your legs. Your back heel can move down or you can keep the heel up. It's up to you. Try to hug your right hip in and back. Inhale, heart forward. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Option, bend the top leg. Find your foot with your hand. Kick the foot into your hand, open up. And then reverse warrior. Release the foot if you have it. Step your left foot back, up and back. And then come all the way around. Left hand to the ground. If it's okay, let knee comes down, find your foot. Take a couple breaths here. And then release. Hand to the ground, step back, plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Rise, inhale. And dog pose, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left knee, left tricep. The knee bent, three-legged dog or wild thing. And then left foot steps, top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale. Find your center. Maybe put a bend in that back leg to lift the pelvis, to lift the spine, and then start to restrain. Beautiful. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, bend the elbows. Release the hands down. Slide the back foot a little closer in and then straighten both of your legs. Melt over this front leg. Hug your left hip in and back. Inhale, 
pull the heart forward. Half moon or the Chandrasana, rolling open. Option to bend this top leg, find your foot. your breath, steady your gaze. You have the foot, release it. Reverse warrior, all the way up and back for one breath. And then come back around, right hand to the floor. If it's okay, right knee to the floor. Reach back with the left hand, find the foot, take a couple breaths. And then release. Step back to plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. With your exhale, take a pause here. Hide your toes in half. Bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale, fold down, exhale. Share, bend the knees, shift your shins back, lift the spine up. Pick up your left knee, rise up to stand, draw your hands to your heart. Push your left foot back behind you, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Beautiful. So in warrior three, don't be rigid in your form, but you're looking to keep the hips as square as you can to the floor. So rather than letting that hip on the left side roll open like you would if you were in half moon, which would come from the standing leg too, you want to wrap everything inward. And I actually have a wall behind you so I can get the benefit of pushing back into the wall. And that's the energy you've got in that leg. You're pushing the left foot back as if there was a wall behind you. That much strength in the back leg. Yes, 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 you look amazing. Good, bend the standing leg. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Left toes on an angle more forward than out to the side. Warrior one, rise up to the center. And then bring your hands behind your hips, lace your fingers, heart to sky, inhale, and then bow forward, exhale, humble warrior. You've got a few breaths. onto your back toes. Take a moment here. Lift this left heel so that it points straight up to the sky. If you want, you'll hold on to your standing leg. You can start with the right hand and then decide if you want to do both hands. We're coming into standing splits. So you're going to melt over this front leg and lift the left leg up and back. And then chair pose, top of the mat. Beautiful, beautiful. Right knee rises up, come up to stand. Bring your hands into your heart. You have a wall, imaginary wall behind you that you're gonna actually touch your foot to. So extending that right leg back. Wrapping the right big toe toward the floor. Even more important, the big toe, wrap the pinky toe on the right foot toward the floor. Inner right thigh lifts up. That's going to give you more stability in that position. Pin the outer left hip in. Bend your standing leg. Stretch your right foot to the back of your mat. Warrior one, back heel moves down, back leg straight and strong, front knee bends deeply. Take an inhale, bring your hands behind your hips, switch the lace of your fingers. Inhale, heart to sky. Exhale, bow forward. Strong. 
the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the belly off the floor. Straight up to plank. Downward facing. Facing dog. Excuse me. Choking on my words. Hide your toes. Inhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Feet to your hands. Halfway. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Chair. Inhale. Left knee lifts. Right left. Warrior three. Warrior one. Bend the standing leg. Hands behind the hips. Heart to sky. Inhale. Raise the hands. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway inhale, standing split. So come on to the left toes, maybe both hands to that right leg as you lift off. Chair pose, top of the mat. Beautiful, pick up the right knee, right up. Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Warrior one. Hands behind the hips, opposite lace of the fingers. Inhale. And bow. Halfway inhale. Onto the back toes. Standing switch, melting over. Come into chair pose, top of the mat, and then take it down, take it down, lie on your back. So good. Feet are flat. Knees are bent. Bridge pose. Press down, rise up. Hands lace behind the hips, draw the shoulders under the body. Outer legs are contained inward. Inner knee stretches forward. Not out, but forward. Pick up your knees, rock up into boat pose. Knees can be bent with shins parallel to the floor or extend the legs up. Yes, I see you. Beautiful work. Bend the knees, roll down with control. Bridge pose again, or Bordra Dhanurasana, you choose. Hands next to the ears for Bordra Dhanurasana. Press into the big toes, the base of the big toe. Maybe come into the balls of the feet, lifting the heels up. In both bridge or upward facing look. And then down, exhale. Knees lift up, Navasana lifting up. Back down with control. One more back bend here. Bridge or upward facing bow. Inhale, rise up. All the same options. Maybe take one leg up. And then if you took one up, maybe the other leg up. And then down and down. Take the feet wide, drop your knees into each other. Feel your breath. Receive those poses. Receive those back bends. They're powerful. 
especially if you went into working on your asana, it's very invigorating. Bridge is a little more kind of restful, but they're both heating poses. They both wake you up. They kind of make you a little zingy. Or I'll speak for myself, but you get a little zingy. Arms cactus, knees to the right. Squeeze that left glute to bring in the core, just like we started. Come back to center, switch it. Knees to the left. Squeeze that right glute to press the hip forward. back to center, rock up into boat pose. One more. This time cross at the shins, bring your hands around, chaturanga, exhale. Rise in hand, and down dog, exhale. Right leg back in hand, right knee, right tricep, exhale. Roll it open, three-legged dog, or wild thing. Yeah, we're back on this again. Right foot to the top of your mat. It's in your body. Let it flow. Rise, inhale, crescent. Exhale, bend the elbows. Release the hands. Back foot slide a little closer. Straighten both legs. Melt. Shift forward. Half moon. Maybe bending that top leg. Find the foot. And then step into the back of the mat. Reverse warrior. And then bring it around and pause. Pause here. Bring your hands to heart. Tip forward. Come into warrior three. And then bend the back leg. Rise up to stand. Take the right hand to the sky. Take your left foot with your left hand. Not a rajasana, not a rajasana. I'm going to turn so you can see from the side here. Push your foot into your hand and start to tip forward any amount. Yeah? So it's more about the, push, the foot pushing into the hand than it is about hinging forward. That'll happen, that'll happen, I swear. You might even stay upright and just push here. One more inhale, release the foot, bring your hands down to the ground, step back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Rise, inhale, and then down dog. Pause here, just pause. Find your breath again, in case you lost it. It's always there, but reconnect mentally, physically. So Nadarajasana is very much like warrior three, but taking the back foot like we do in, in Ardha Chandrasana and Chapasana, yeah? It's the exact same idea. Don't overthink it. Trust that it's in your body. I promise you it is. Even if you fall out of it, it's there. You have the knowledge. Left leg back in hand. Left knee, left tricep. Open up three-legged dog or wild thing. And then step that left foot top of the mat. Crescent, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, release the hands down. Back foot in a bit, straighten both legs and melt. Half moon, any variation. Reverse warrior, take it back. Yeah. And then come around, but pause here. Come into warrior three. So here's our alignment, here's our alignment. Bend the back leg, so you're curling the heel into the sitting bone. You're going to come up to stand. You're going to find that foot with your right hand. Don't worry about going anywhere. Lift the left arm. Push your foot into your hand. Keep pulling the belly back. Push the foot. Pull the belly back. Let this right shoulder go for a ride here. Good, rise up. Bring the hands down to the ground. Step back to plank. This time, lower all the way down to your belly. Feel 
really good. Bend both of your legs. Cobra is a great alternative. Otherwise, bending both the legs for down your asana, finding your feet, and pressing back. Let your shoulders go for the ride. Notice if you're holding and resisting in the shoulders. Just exhale, let it go. Let the shoulders open up. Beautiful. Two more breaths. You've got this. You've got this. Yes. I know I said let it go, so it made it seem like that, but I meant this. Now let the pose go. Press back. Child's pose. Breathe here. If you want, rock your weight side to side. So we do like a thousand chaturangas, and then we get to this peak pose like Nadarajasana, and we do it once. And that's it. We have the one shot, and then we're out, and that's everything we worked for, and that's done. So that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to do it twice, because that's what I do for you. You are welcome. A couple more breaths here. Down dog, press your back. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, bring your feet up to your hands. Halfway, inhale, fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Stand on your right foot, pick up your left knee. Good. Let it stay here. We take this uh, left foot behind you toward the hip, finding the left foot with the left hand. Maybe bringing the foot to the ins uh, the hand to the inside of the foot if it feels good. I know I've got a couple bendies out there that are watching this right now. If you are working on King Dancer, bringing the arms from above, you are welcome to go there as well. We're going to actually take a third time at this, believe it or not. So you have time. If that's not there for you, you'll have one more shot. I didn't mention that before, but you will. We're going to do this one more time. Keep going. Maybe the foot comes into the elbow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I see you clapping for me. <laughs> All right, come out slow. Come right back into chair pose. Beautiful. It should feel good, even if it doesn't look like you are an Instagram girl or guy for that matter. It should feel good. And in yourself, you should feel like you are a dancer. Like it's beautiful. It's amazing. Yes? All right. You're going to pick up the right leg. You're going to rise up. Take that right foot behind you. And then find the foot. Maybe from the inside. Push the foot. Maybe you bring the foot into the elbow. See what you got. Let me see what you got. You are beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Two more breaths. And then gently release. Right back into chair. That's a terrible transition on my part, but I'm sure you were much better at it. Press up to stand. Reach the hands sky high. Lift the belly. Lift the heart. One more in half. Forward fold, exhale. So, so good. Halfway, inhale. Step back to plank. Drop your knees to the ground. If you really want a vinyasa, go for it before you this step. Drop your knees to the ground when you're ready. And then bring your elbows down. And then drop the heart through. Really nice, really nice. So we're opening the shoulder girdle here. If you're very bendy in your spine, a lot of the time this just becomes a um, like the flexion of the of the or the extension, I should say, of the spine. See if you can push the elbow down a little bit more, pull the heart back, and still get that extension, but really opening up the shoulders, opening up the arms. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Forearm plank, forearm 
are down, tuck your toes, nice and strong in your center. So all poses, all postures require a balance of strength and work with ease and mobility. So you don't have to be flexible to practice yoga. You don't have to be strong to practice. We get you there slowly. Whatever that is, a reflection in your body. It's not what someone else is doing. It's what's personal in your body. A couple more breaths. Good. And then release down. Just rest your head down, take a moment. So we'll take a third try in Nadha Rajasana and keep that in your mind, that strength that you just had in the plank, that openness you just had in the shoulders in case you want an opportunity to go from above. The ease in the work, all things in balance, all things in balance. Come back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot about halfway to your hands. Good. Bring your hands to your hips, rising up. Lift that left leg, bring it behind you. So it's a little different entry this time. Good. You don't have to take the arms from above. Maybe you take the little hands back behind you for a little different version here. Find something different, whether it's just in your approach, in what the pose looks like, in your breath, in your focus, your concentration. So, so nice, yes. Notice the standing foot, draw the energy up a little bit more. This is your last breath. You're amazing. Release the foot, bring the hands back down. Pause here. You can take both legs straight and just melt over this front leg. You can shift forward and take a little hop up for a handstand. It's there for you. Whatever is working for you. You got it, you got it. Last two breaths. And then everyone move back through vinyasa or just right to down dog. Your, your last vinyasa. And then you'll step your left foot in about half. And you'll pick up the back leg, you'll bend the knee. Bring your hands to your hips and then rise up to stand. So really building the strength in the outer fist here. Maybe both hands come back to that foot. The more you steady your gaze, your drishti, the more you steady your breath, I say it all the time, but the steadier you'll be. Get rid of all that external that's pulling you out of it. You might still fall out and it's okay, but steady the breath, steady the gaze, hold in. Good. Last two breaths. And then gently release the foot, bring the hands down, step that right foot back if you want, you'll stay here, both legs straight, melting over. If you prefer, you'll shift into your hands. You can take a few hops here. You don't necessarily have to find a handstand, but maybe you will. Who knows? See what happens. And then this is your last vinyasa. If you choose to take it, stepping, jumping back, moving through. To downward facing dog. So good. You're gonna bring your right knee forward. Come into single leg pigeon. Always, if this pose doesn't work, find an alternative. So with all of that back bending, you are welcome, of course, to come forward, rest the forehead down, extend the arms. But if you want to take it a little bit more, you can bend the back leg and then you find your foot. You can bring the foot in from either side. If you're going same side to leg, you can bring the elbow into the foot and then come from above. Play with it. Make it so 
feel good. your breath. Finding what you need on the side. It may not be the same. behind your hips and just lift the spine up. Press the heels away from the hips. Press the back leg down and then maybe come forward. Maybe not. You can come forward any amount. The goal is not to get your body flat to the ground. The goal is to find length in your spine and space in your spine. If your torso comes forward, you don't have to pull out of it. Go for it. But that's not the, necessarily the goal. So we're all built very differently here. If you can keep the length here and you want to come forward, fantastic. This is the, I'm telling you, I keep saying it every day in class, but this is the best part of this home practice that we are living with right now, is that you don't have to worry about the person next to you, what the teacher thinks. You get to do what is right on your body. Hi, little mister. This is little mister. He's my yogi kitty. He likes it when we do the floor work though, not the moving stuff. Rise up if you're forward. Bring the soles of your feet together, Baddha Konasana. As we slow down, think about what you want to take off your mat today? How do you feel right now? What do you want to cultivate in your world or in your surroundings? And the people around you, if you're interacting with anyone. I'm so very, very lucky. My two-year-old, I think, you know, they repeat everything you say. So, of course, he's going to say the shits and all that stuff that I am. It's totally my fault, by the way. But I also tell him so many times a day over the course of the past few years that I love him so much. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. He must tell me probably 300 times a day, I love you. Mom, I love you. Mom, love you. Kiss, hug. And it's like the best feeling. But we cultivate that, right? What we put back or put out, we get back. So he's a two-year-old. He's going to repeat back. But not every two-year-old gets that, right? Not every 10-year-old gets that. Not every adult gets that from the people around. So what can you give out today? Legs out in front. Hashimotanasana. Inhale. Exhale, come forth. 
Inhale. Exhale, melt it down. What's your dialogue with yourself, right? Do you love yourself that way? Can you love yourself that way? You can. Can you today? Was your dialogue during your practice and you fell out of a pose? Did it bring you down or was it just part of the practice? It's laughable, right? It doesn't matter if you fall out of a pose. That in the grand scheme of our day and of what's going on is nothing. Nothing. Get comfortable falling and failing. Oh, we're going to finish with a twist. If you prefer to stay upright and stay seated, twisting both ways and then sitting in meditation to finish your practice, go for it. If you want to come with me, I'm going to come on my back, do a twist there, and then finish in Shavasana. So come on down to your backs if you're coming with me. If you want, cross one leg over the other. Drop the knees one way, upper body goes the opposite way. Back to center, uncross if you're crossed. Second side twist. To center for Shavasana. Release your legs out, release your hands, release your gaze, your muscles, your bones, your teeth, your hair. Oh, I know you can't, but yes, you can. Release everything. Let your breath get quiet and soft. Feel the strength of the floor under you. You will not fall, you will not fail. You just have to be, just be here now. Thank you. 
Start to deepen your breath. And then reach your arms overhead, bend your knees. Roll to your side. And then rise up to seated from there. Once you are seated, bring your hands together at your heart. Lift your heart into your thumb. Honor your practice today. I'm humbled you're here. I'm proud of you for being here. What are you gonna shine out into the world today? Even from your home or wherever you are. What's your thumbprint on the world? And how together, bow your mind to your heart. Namaste.